My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're on the third piston for from Robert's collection, and this is the beauty. Ho oh, yeah! We have got some serious detonation and then pre-ignition. This has had a fucking nice day out, as this bad boy. Now, looking at the bottom, I can't see it coming through, but you can see there's a lot of oil cooked on the bottom. Um, yeah, this has not had a good day out. So this was taken from an RD uh, RD250, that's what Robert said it was from. Um, he had a question mark at the end of it, I don't think you remember, I think he's had it for quite a while. But these, this is just fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can get the top ring out so we can start to see what has happened to the actual... Um, ring itself. So let me have a look at the ring. The ring's out of shape, uh, obviously because it's had a lovely day. The actual end of the ring has been turned up. Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of carbon deposit on the ring. There's some uh, vent grooves cut into the ring. I'll show you them. You can see a bit there, but there's these grooves cut into the bottom of the ring to help stabilise um, the airflow on the underside of the ring when you have your intake from the bottom of the crankcase. Uh, what else have we got? Same thing on the sec on the second compression ring. But this has just had a fucking nightmare of a time. Now you can see that we've got our windowed uh, cutouts in our piston, very nicely done. This is right, ni real nice radius on there. Um, Yeah, really nice ridge, and I'm just trying to look see if there's any awesome cracking. You can see it's been reinforced on the back with the thickness of the bridge. Uh, there's some burnt oil on the underside, you can see all that, that's all lovely because it's got far too hot. But you'll see straight away that our two wrist, uh, pins are um, on the inlet side. And you can see our little resonance pockets here for our boost ports. And you just look at this exhaust side, that is just that is just crusty. It's just lovely compared to that, which is what it should sound like. That's just fucking lovely, is that? So basically as you can see when the when the piston comes up towards the uh, compression chamber, uh, combustion chamber should I say, not compression chamber, combustion changer, uh, chamber, it's actually the spark plug region. So the spark plug will be sat right here and because your exhaust port is here and because all your exhaust gases flow this way, then it's this side of the piston that is hotter and retains more heat. Um, so every time that it's come up to the spark plug and fired, this is where the general, you know, the heat starts to re recess backwards over every compression stroke, and then it's basically where the spark plug ignites is uh, the hottest region. So this is what actually starts to chew away at the piston, and it's this pre-ignition, um, as I was saying, as the piston comes up, pre-ignition is when it lights beforehand, and it's obviously just got hot in the region where the spark plug is. So I would say this might be caused by running too hot a spark plug. Um, maybe too much of a, uh, you know, his head gasket wasn't thick enough, so his squish was too tight. And uh, it's just started to eat and embed into the piston. And the worst thing is, as soon as this starts to happen, all these little sharp edges, you know, not a nice smooth dome that absorbs all the heat, but all these little sharp edges, or edges, so to speak, will start to absorb more heat, and it just causes further and further detonation and pre-ignition inside these little pockets, so it just gets worse and worse and worse. And as you can see, this is one of the thickest, thinnest sections of your piston here, so it just starts to blow off uh, the sides, it starts to corrode away, and you get pre-ignition here, because again you've got all these little sharp edges and what have you, so it just starts to blow past. And as you can see, weirdly enough, that this ledge, you know, this top ledge here has disappeared. This bottom ledge here is fine, and that's because there's a bloody great big piston uh, piston ring in the way. 
and because this is chromoly, it just sits there and kind of shields it and absorbs a lot of the heat and deflect and you know transfers that heat to the actual uh, cylinder wall like it should. But that is nasty, nasty, nasty. So that's a good example, an excellent example of uh, pre-ignition uh, detonation and pre-ignition on a two-stroke and why measuring your squish band and keeping an eye on how your engine sounds and all the rest of it is seriously important you can see there when I put the ring back on that that's basically what's happening it's just blatting away and just eroding all this aluminium in the direction of the exhaust port and you kind of see a kind of flow path here where there's obviously a spark plug, spark plug sat right here and all the swirl and turbulence and all the rest of it, because your exhaust port is here it starts to swirl in this general direction or this general direction heading towards the exhaust port and because you have that, this is where these hot gases are burning and they're basically just chewing the shit out of it but um, and obviously the thing's got way too hot, way 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 too hot and then the thing's just fucking heat seized on him and probably spat him off. That's absolutely awesome. So that's number three out of the five. The, uh, like I said, these are in severity, and um, this is the third worst. There's another two to go, if you can believe it or not. Um, hope you enjoy these videos. There's loads of other videos like the ER5 stuff and all the rest of it. People keep on saying, have you done videos on this, this, that and the other, or maybe you can do a video on this. A lot of these questions, a lot of these suggestions, they're already done. Just go and have a look on the channel and see what there is. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in a bit.